hello guys how are you i hope so that you will be fine and enjoying good health today as i selected a topic on liver fusion so let's uh, starts from here flukes especially the liver flukes are parasites that can infect humans and cause liver and bile duct disease there are two families of liver flukes that cause disease in humans number 1 is opisto orchidiae which include the species of clonorchis and opisthorchis and the second one is fasciolidia which include the species of fasciola these two families of liver fluke differ in their geographic distribution life cycle and long term outcome after clinical infection so what is clonorchiasis or clonorchis infection clonorchis is a liver flu parasite that humans can get by eating raw or undercooked fish from areas where parasite is found and it's found across parts of asia clonorchis is also called as chinese oriental liver fluke and uh, liver fluke can infect the liver called bladder in the bile duct in humans Here most infected persons do not show any symptoms infections that last long time as long as can result in severe symptoms and serious illnesses untreated infections may persist for up to 25 to 30 years and the life span of the parasite is up to 30 years what is diagnosis of clonorchis infection that is based on microscopic identification of the parasite's eggs in stool specimens Safe and effective medication is available to treat clonorchis infections. Adequately freezing or cooking fish still will kill the parasite. Prazequentil or almendazole are the drugs of choice to treat clonorchis infection. Then we would come to opisthorchis infection, opisthorchiasis species, or opisthorchis infection. Um, opisthorchis species are liver fluke parasite that human can get by eating raw or undercooked fish crabs or crayfish from areas in asia and europe where the parasite is found in, including thailand laos cambodia vietnam germany italy belarus russia kazakhstan and in ukraine liver flukes infects the liver gallbladder and the bile duct of humans while most infected persons do not show any symptoms infection that lasts as long time can result in severe symptoms and serious illnesses untreated infections may persist for up to 25 to 30 years the life span of this parasites and the typical symptoms include indigestion abdominal pain diarrhea or constipation in severe cases abdominal pain nausea and diarrhea can occur opisthorchis felanus Phelanus is, in addition to presenting with the typical symptoms, also seen in um, Ophisthorchis viverani infection, can present with fever, facial swelling, swollen limb glands or sore joints and rash, similar to the signs and symptoms of Schistosomiasis. And chronic O. Phelanus infections may also involve the pancreatic ducts. Diagnosis of Ophisthorchis infection is based on microscopic identification of parasites eggs in stool specimens and safe and effective medication is available to treat Ophisthorchis infection adequately freezing or cooking fish will kill the parasite so the treatment for this infection of the parasite is prazequentil being given or albendazole that the drug of choice to treat Ophisthorchis infections So then we will come to another parasite which is fasciolaeasis fasciola hepatic infection fasciolaeasis is a parasite infection typically caused by fasciola hepatica which is also called as the common liver fluke or the sheep liver fluke a related parasite fasciola gigantica also can infect people and fasciolaeasis is found in all continents except Antarctica in over 70 countries especially where there are sheep or cattle 
and people usually become infected by eating raw watercress or other water plants contaminated with immature parasite larva the young worm moves through the intestinal wall the abdominal cavity and the liver tissue into the bile ducts where they develop into mature adult flukes that produce eggs the pathology typically is most pronounced in the bile ducts and liver fasciola infection is both treatable and preventable so fasciolysis is a parasitic infection typically caused by fasciola hepatica and um, the young worms move through the intestinal wall the abdominal cavity in the liver tissue and into the bile duct where they develop into mature adult flukes that produce eggs the pathology typically is more pronounced in the bile ducts and liver fasciol infection is both treatable and preventable and uh, fasciol hepatica is a broadly ellipsoidal operculated and major 130 to 150 micron meter by 60 to 90 micron meter and the center is the adult fasciol hepatica fluke stained with carmine 30 mm into 13 mm and the fasciolia bulamoides a snail host for fasciol hepatica in the western united states fasciolia bulamoides a snail so this is a host for fasciol hepatica in the western united states so it is uh, diagnosis is by the seeing the parasite this is usually done by finding the fasciol eggs in stools fecal specimen examined under microscope more than one specimen may need to be examined to find the parasite sometimes eggs are found by examining the duodenal content of bile and infected people don't start passing eggs until they have been infected for several months people don't pass eggs during the acute phase of the infection therefore early on the infection has to be diagnosed in other ways than by examining the stool even during the chronic phase of infection it can be difficult to find eggs in stool specimen from people who have light infections certain types of blood tests can be helpful for diagnosing fasciola infection including routine blood work and tests that detect antibodies and immune response to the parasites so the treatment is the first step is to make sure that diagnosis is correct for more information patient should consult their healthcare provider and healthcare provider may consult with cdc staff about, about the diagnosis and treatment of fasciola fasciolysis the drug of choice is try clebendazole the drug is given by mouth and usually in two doses and most people respond well to the treatment we have covered these two infections which are opisthorchis clonorchis and fasciola type of liver flukes in our discussion so it was all about the parasites liver flukes i hope so that this video will be very informative for you and if you have liked this video then kindly subscribe my channel have a wonderful nice day Thank you very much.